What can you learn from contemporary controversial artist Cleon Peterson? I just had a conversation with Cleon. Uh, I really appreciate you taking the time to, to talk with me. I had like a really interesting critique experience like a couple of days ago when I showed this, this squash piece that I made. I started talking about like, you know, the work deals with controversial issues and problematic issues of whiteness. And I did this to spark conversation. And oh boy, did it spark conversation. The feedback was pretty negative. The consensus was that the work participates on the side of the oppressor and that the work is, is tone deaf, which I think is fair criticism. Among a bunch of great pieces of advice that Cleon gave me, the most important for me and for you was when he said, don't frame it. And like whenever you frame your work, like in a kind of like way where you're posing the question to people, like you're almost like inviting them to to a specific criticism. What you need to do is like make it so that people have access to look at themselves somehow and to be self-critical, self-referential. For artists, when we frame work, we draw a box for the work to be put in and then it doesn't allow for interpretation and it also puts the artist on the defensive. His advice can be extruded to the general public or to like conversations. And what I mean by that is when we don't frame a conversation or, or front load the conversation with our ideas before letting the other person speak first. We emphasize a practice of active listening, asking open-ended questions and opening a space to let others speak first.